What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion who is universally widely considered to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world and Terrence Bud Crawford, who has 40 wins, no losses, no draw, 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch armies. With that said, Terrence Crawford is going on a, a celebration tour with the media, right? He's gonna have this Saturday coming up. He's gonna have a recognition parade for his victory. Uh, a few Saturdays ago, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when he had the biggest fight of his career, the most lucrative fight of his career, and, uh, um, you know, uh, the biggest legacy fight of his career, as he took on and defeated uh, former unified three-belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many at the time to be top five pound for pound best fighters in the world in Earl the True Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is now 28 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armies. They fought last Saturday in a highly anticipated, undefeated, undisputed welterweight showdown that was anticipated, one of the biggest anticipated fights in the last, uh, going on 10 years. And the biggest 50 50 on paper, if there ever one were one, was one fight since September 16, 1981, when Sugar Ray Leonard took on Tommy Hearns versus uh, Marvin, Marvin and Hagler for undisputed and two belt error on paper. It didn't fulfill that competitive uh, uh, on paper competition because Terrence Crawford dominated the fight. He dropped Earl Spence in the second round, dropped him twice in the seventh round, and stopped him in the ninth round. And Errol Spence uh, uh, is big, fundamentally sound, technically skilled, uh, Southpaw, Olympian, and had unified all the belts, picked up all the belts from all the champions. Errol Spence was top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. Terrence Crawford says that he believes Errol Spence uh, team should have stopped the fight uh, in the seventh round, right? He said that, you know, they let it go on too long because they believed in Errol as they should, uh, but they throw, they, they, you know, at that point, it became a point where they was throwing caution in the wind and hoping that he landed something big. Listen to what Terrence Crawford had to say about them stopping the fight in the uh, um, seventh round. This is what he said. Well, I don't think he should retire. I think he should t take a little time off, you know, get his get his mind right and, you know, get back in the gym and get back focused because, you know, I never took a loss in the professional uh, rankings, but I know how, how that can affect you mentally, you know, being at this high level and losing the way you lost. You know, you start questioning yourself. You start asking yourself certain questions. Do I still got it? Am I, am I getting old? Am I slipping? You start asking yourself all different type of questions that you got to answer. So I just, you know, would tell them, you know, you're a great fighter. Take take a little time off and come back, and, you know. Uh, but don't rush. Try sending them a text message. Mm -hmm. Send them a text message. It's fine. You know? like, I, like I told everybody, I don't hate Earl Spence. Like, I'm a fan of Earl Spence. Like, you know, uh, it was just business at the end of the day. No, man, you got to understand, man. Errol's a, you know, a, a great fighter. He's very strong. He's He's got the heart of a lion. And, you know, he's, he, he's very tough. Mm -hmm. Yes. The ref did stop it. Right. Yeah, sure. But I think that his, his, his corner should have stepped in in the seventh round as if, you know, uh, they believed in Errol, but at the same time, they should have saved the fighter from himself. So you see, he said that they should have saved Errol Spence from himself, right? Uh, and, you know, uh, he said the rematch, he was asked about the rematch and how they're going to make the rematch uh, a major sell. How they're going to get people to, to buy into the rematch after that dominant performance that he put on. And uh, 
people don't believe in Earl Spence being able to win it. He said, we'll just find a way, we'll make it do what it do, is what he stated, right? Um, and then he was asked, what's next? And he said that, you know, he's thinking over, uh, pondering over what he uh, wants to do next, who, who should he fight next? Uh, you know, he pushed uh, undefeated welterweight uh, superstar title contender, Jerron Boots Ennis, to the side. You know, he stated that Jerron Boots Ennis essentially, you know, um, you know, has done nothing. He get no credit for fighting and beating Jerron Boots Ennis. So, you know, uh, that's pretty much out the window. Uh, and he stated that the fight he does want is a, a um, three-time world champion, undisputed junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, who's top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Jamel Ironman Charlo, who is 35 wins, one loss, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is um, uh, 33 years of age, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm age. He said that's the fight that he wants. But Jamel Charlo has a mega fight coming up September 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, as he's going to take on four division world champion, Mexican superstar Bassa, who is currently the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be uh, the face of the sport of boxing in Saul Canelo Alvarez, who is 59 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. He is... Um, 33 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm age. And they're gonna fight. Jamel Charles is gonna jump up from 154 to 168 and challenge Canelo Alvarez. Uh, he gives, Terrence Crawford that is, he gives Jamel Charles a, a strong uh, possibility of winning the fight, you know, strong chance to win the fight. But he says that he's going with Canelo Alvarez to win the fight. He just thinks that Canelo Alvarez uh, is gonna be stronger than Jamel Charles at 168. The fight he wants is Jamel Charlo next because Jamel Charlo represents a legacy fight. He stated that uh, Errol Spence needs to take time off. Okay, he says that he thinks if it was up to him, he would, you know, allow, he would tell uh, Errol Spence to take a little bit of time off. Uh, and he wants to fight uh, Jamel Charlo, but he says if Canelo Alvarez wins, he would like to fight Canelo Alvarez at a catchway of 160. It would be a super fight, a mega fight. And Terrence Crawford is with the pre premier boxing champion, founder advisor Al Heyman right now, Showtime, Showtime president of sports. And um, Canelo Alvarez just signed a three fight deal with Showtime, Showtime president of sports, Al Heyman and, and, and uh, uh, PBC and uh, Steven Espinosa. So that's a mega super fight for Canelo Alvarez. And Terrence Crawford initially stated that he don't see himself going past 154. But he says, now for Canelo Alvarez, he'll fight him at 160. But he ain't going up to 168. I personally think that he can beat Canelo Alvarez. I've been saying that. I've been on the record saying that Terrence Crawford can beat Canelo Alvarez. Now, the thing about it is, is can Canelo, Canelo Alvarez come down? Canelo Alvarez is the, the A-side. Canelo Alvarez is the cash cow. That's a huge legacy fight for Terrence Crawford. That would be a huge payday for Canelo Alvarez. This is a fight that Canelo Alvarez possibly thinks he could win. Canelo Alvarez believes he could win every fight. Let me say that. But this fight would be a fight that he would possibly push for, right? Canelo Alvarez... Can come down to 160. He's not a big guy. 5'8", five, five, 70 inch arm reach. Uh, now he fights, he fought in 168, 175, but he's not a big guy at all. He just demanded that Badu Jack, who is the cruiserweight WBC champion, come down 20 pounds. Canelo Alvarez can come down 8 pounds and fight Terrence Crawford at 160. And he just might do it. But I'm sure Canelo Alvarez would push for it to be 162, 164, something of that magnitude. Would Terrence Crawford do it at 164? Right? Not one full 168, but 164. That's where Terrence Crawford currently walks around. He said he walks around 165. I think that Terrence Crawford would be selling himself short if he didn't take a fight with Canelo at 164. 
because I think he will beat Canelo Alvarez at 164. Canelo Alvarez has four inch arms shorter than him. He is the same height. And Canelo Alvarez has slow feet. Yes, mass wise, Canelo Alvarez was, would be the bigger guy. But he's slower than Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford will see his punches the same way Floyd Mayweather did. And he will be, and Canelo Alvarez has slowed down from the version of Canelo Alvarez that fought Floyd Mayweather. He slowed down from that version to today. He's, he's even slower. He's more precise. He, he has more experience. And he, his combinations are beautiful. But he's slower. And his feet has got even slower. It's not a fight that Terrence Crawford can't win. And I think that Terrence Crawford will be selling himself short if he don't take the fight with Canelo Alvarez. Now, if Canelo Alvarez tell him to come to full 168, then why do it? But if Canelo Alvarez is saying come to 164, Terrence Crawford should take that fight. Because he'll beat him. He will beat Canelo Alvarez. And that will solidify his legacy and his place in history, no doubt. First things first, he has to rematch Errol Spence in December because Errol Spence is going to take the fight in December. Uh, and after that, Cinco de Mayo weekend, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence at the catchweight would be huge. It would be huge for the PBC. It would be huge for Canelo, Terrence Crawford for sure, and Showtime. No doubt. Terrence Crawford, don't sell yourself short, great brother. At 164, if because I know Canelo Alvarez ain't gonna come down to 60. He's gonna demand a catchway. At 164, if Canelo Alvarez offers that fight, take it, you'll beat him. You'll beat him. I have no doubt Can Terrence Crawford will beat him. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.